Okay, our second race here from Fontwell and last is a three mile two furlong handicap and all to one twenty. So number one is You Do Who Do, two is Moon Lake, three Gay Brief, four Talk Leon, five five Fan Phantasmagoria, six Reflector, Reflect He's a Rarity, seven Silver King, eight Prince Achiever, nine Walk This Way, ten Medlin, eleven Kojak Who Loves Your Baby is number eleven. So they're away here over this three mile two furlong course here at Fontwell, which I think is probably around about Umpteen circuits, they're into the first, and everybody's over it. So, uh, quite a mix here. You could have a couple of entries in this one. I think the only one that's got a couple of entries is Doug. They're all over the next. He sends his Prince Achiever, his uh, winning horse from last week, over the Hunter Chase, and it's Prince Achiever that wants to lead them. So, Prince Achiever goes into the third, takes it well. He's got them a little bit close. So, it's Prince Achiever, leads by four to Medellin and we've got Talk Leon the grey on the fence the outside of that is Lieutenant Kojak further wide is You Do Who Do the other one against the fence is Silver King who's already got himself no space then we've got Walk This Way for Moilets the other grey on the outside is Reflect He's a Rarity and then we've got three at the rear which are Gay Brief, Moon Lake and Phantasmagoria so as we're going to approach the fourth it's Prince Achiever that's bowling along in front for uh, Dub Warren Stables looking to increase uh, his winners this week. I think you're on two, Doug, which is two more than me. Well done. You'll be catching Martin, you'll be challenging him for the commentator's title. So they're into the fifth, everybody's over it, although Lieutenant Kojak uh, dropped his lollipop and went through the top of it. So it's still Prince Achiever, leads by four, but his. Advantage has just been shortened a little bit by Walk This Way and You Do Who Do. They go into the six. Everybody's over that as well. We're jumping quite well, these are chasers. As they bowl along. The grey that looks, in fact, we've got uh, several greys that look like they're running on the inside of the, inside of the fence rather than the outside there. Uh, if anyone did notice that. So it's Prince Achiever that's going to lead them into the next. We've still got well over two miles to travel. And there's a couple of lengths ahead of Lieutenant Kojak and Walk This Way. Great track by Run DMC. The inside of that is You Do Who Do. And then the grey reflect He's a Rarity. And followed through by Moon Lake, Talk Leon and Silver King. And we've got the White Horse Phantasmagoria. On the outside and the two at the rear are Medlin and Gay Brief. I don't know why you called that one Gay Brief, Martin. Does that mean it's like, uh, I don't know, a happy brief? Anyway, we'll start. We've still got two furlongs to go, and it's a Doug Boron 1 and 2 at the moment with Prince Achiever and Reflect He's a Rarity going past the finishing post. One that's had uh, quite a good run against the fence is Lieutenant Kojak. And then we've got Walk This Way and Moon Lake together. And they're just a length ahead of Talk Leon. A further length back to Silver King. Still at the rear, Phantasmagoria, Gay Brief, and the Medellin. But still, out front, it's still Prince Achiever. By a couple now to Lieutenant Kojak. They approach the next, the tenth. Everybody's over it. They all stand on their feet well here. But as I mentioned, Fontwell's uh, not the hardest course in the world. But it's Prince Achiever, takes them down the dip into the eleventh. Ooh, and a couple that went through the top of that uh, were reflect he's a rarity. And I think the Darren Howes or Silver King didn't get over it particularly well. The one that's made up a little bit of ground is Gay Brief from the rear and got himself into the middle of the pack. But Prince Achiever's lead is getting shortened now as they approach the 12th. Everybody jumps it well. A really big jump by Silver King. But it's still Prince Achiever from Moon Lake in second. A couple are going to go wide again here as we take this right turn. The worst of those is Walk This Way. Oh, and we're losing one here. It looks like You Do Who Do is getting pulled up. We've got another grey running on the inside of the fence here in the pink silks, <laughs> which is Talk Leon. We need to sort out this font all track. Um, so it's still Prince Achiever. We're still a mile and a quarter left to run. Still leading from Gay Breeze, Lieutenant Joe, Ka Kojak and Walk Away. Walk This Way. We're over that ditch. And now Prince Achiever into the 14th. Again, they will take it well. He still leads Prince Achiever. Not been put under any pressure, really. Lieutenant Kojak, jockey, just uh, stalking him. 
and has been. They're into the 15th of Janet Gold. We've lost one there. Reflect. He's a rarity. He's gone for Doug Warren. So it's not going to be a 1-2 for you, mate. But you've still got the leader of the race. And it's Prince Achiever that leads. We're inside the eight furlongs now with a circuit left to run. And another six fences to negotiate. The one again caught with the rear here is Moon Lake. Again pushed a little bit wide by Reflect. He's a rarity. Seems a bit unfair there by that horse. He's got a lot of work to do now, Moon Lake. I think he may well have found the, the weight just uh, a little bit too telling now. So it's still Prince Achiever. Been leading them since the beginning from Walk This Way, Lieutenant Kojak and Medellin, who's done well, but Medellin went through the top of that, demoted himself into the middle of the pack again. So it's Prince Achiever that leads us into the five and a half furlongs. Prince Achiever, Lieutenant Kojak, Walk This Way, Medellin, they all get over it. Gay Brief, Talk Leon, Phantasmagoria, Moon Lake is going nowhere and is getting pulled up. Bad luck, Jim. That one's having a bit of a tug. So it's still Prince Achiever starting to be pushed on now. We're inside four and a half furlongs, leads by four. Medellin's the only one that's trying to challenge, as is. Phantasmagoria, but went, oh, and we've lost another one there. Walk this way for Moilitz has gone. So a couple of the strong challengers are out. So inside three and a half furlongs, still Prince Achiever from Medellin making up some ground. Gay Brief, Silver King, Talk Leon still there, as is Phantasmagoria. I don't think Lieutenant Kojak's going to win from there. So it's Prince Achiever that still leads us inside the final three furlongs. Prince Achiever from Medellin, Gay Brief, Phantasmagoria, Silver King, Talk Leon, Lieutenant Kojak. They could all still win this. We've still got two furlongs left to travel and a couple left to jump they're over the 19th the ditch he's there it's now still prince achiever that leads by three to four is Doug going to make this a, a, a horse that's going to win back-to-back -back races he could do it's still prince achiever that leads inside the final furlong as they approach the last it's still prince achiever he's only got to go over this leads by four to meddling he does oh meddling dives through it prince achiever just up the slope here half a furlong going to win this comfortably silver king starting to make up some ground now but certainly not going to catch this winner well done doug warren for a win Second was Silver King, third was Phantasmagoria. Well done, Doug. Another win. I hope you've not gone over to the dark side. So, well done, Prince Achiever for Doug Warren. Second was Silver King for Darren Howes. Third was Phantasmagoria for Obi-Wan. Fourth was Medellin for Jamie Hopkins. And fifth was Talk Leon for D. Hinton. And now over to Martin at uh, Punchestown.